Ring in the Irish is a special handbell music festival coming to South Bend Century Center this weekend. Jared is joining us with all of the details. Thank you, Jared, for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about, so you are a member of the Handbell Musicians of America, but this specific chapter. So how does that work? What is Handbell Musicians of America? So the Handbell Musicians of America is an organization that uh, helps the the art of handbell ringing be more broadly spread across the United States. Um, and our local area is, is really more of a five state region. So it includes Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio, and West Virginia. And each year we hold a spring festival and that moves around the five state area. So we are here in South Bend as representatives of Area 5 of the Handbell Musicians of America for uh, education and music making for handbells all weekend long. Wonderful. And so then it who is all going to be featured this weekend? We talked about it's going to be a large number of people, but is that people from all over the different states as well? Yeah, so they're actually going to be ringers from all five of the states. Um, a lot of folks from Indiana locally, of course, mm -hmm. um, Ohio and Michigan because of the location here where we are in South Bend. But we, we draw each year ringers from all over those five states. And then we hold events throughout the area. So sometimes we'll hold them in Michigan and we might get a few more ringers from Michigan there down in West Virginia and get some folks from that area mm -hmm. regionally. So we like to move it around. Definitely. So the number of ringers that we're going to have, though, this weekend, we are saying, you said 250? More than 250. How does that work? How does everybody work all together to make one cohesive sound? Well, we really, we have a wonderful conductor, Stephanie oh. Rhodes, um, who is coming in from Texas, actually, to, mm. to be with us this weekend. And so it's going to be Stephanie's responsibility to be in front of all those people and to keep them on the same page and really get them ringing together. They prepare before they come in. So they've had a chance to see the music. We've, we've worked on that on our own and then we, we come together and have some rehearsal time this weekend and then really at just a big concert tomorrow at five actually. Wow. So that is though the first time that all 250 people are together That's is correct. in this rehearsal process right now. That is crazy. That is a crazy amount of wonderful music to make. Right. But now I am curious about how handbells work. We know that we ring the bells, but there are lots of other things that you can do with handbells as well. Right. So handbells actually can, can ring just a direct sound, as you'll, you'll hear and see soon. We have a clapper inside the bell that is directional, and we control that with our wrist motion. So when we move our mm. wrist, the clapper moves and strikes the bell to make the sound. But you can actually take those clappers and you can touch them onto the table once you've made the sound, so that creates a different sound. We can actually touch with our thumbs or with our fingers to create a stopped sound. Oh. Um, so we, we actually uh, call this a, a thumb damp, so we can put our thumb onto the back of the bell and as we strike it, it creates a quick staccato sound. Oh. Um, sometimes we ring bells with mallets. So we take mallets just like you would see a percussionist ring on the, ba on the bell, so we put them down on the table and we strike them with the mallets. Uh, really, it's, it's kind of a variety of techniques, and those techniques are developing all the time. Mm -hmm. So there are new techniques that come into play. Um, there are some techniques that have been around a long time. We do tower swings, mm -hmm. which come from, you know, bell tower bells that actually swing. Oh. And we, can, we can emulate that with moving our, our arms down to our sides with the bell. So it's just so kind of a Doppler motion. effect. Wow, so, that's some science in there too. Yeah, there's a lot of Who really knew you were stuff. getting science with your handbells today? Right, exactly. <laughs> we, we try to make it something for everybody. Yeah, and what kind of music can um, people expect from the handbell choir? So we have all kinds of, of different music out there. So there are arrangements that are of popular songs. So you might hear a, you know, a Katy Perry song or a Greatest Showman Ooh. arrangement on handbells. Um, but we also have a lot of original compositions. So what we're going to do this weekend is going to be kind of a mix. We're going to have some original compositions, things that were written for handbells as an instrument, um, often by composers who are part of the process. So they, they get so to special. write the music, they get to come and be part of the, the playing, and it's, it's really wonderful. Seriously, to be able to have that whole kind of full circle collaborative process. Right. But I also understand that you work with other instruments as well. We do. How does that work? So handbells are very collaborative. We can, we can set ourselves up and, and work with flute players, with string players, um, obviously with other percussionists. We, we can do some really great work with hand drums and larger mm. percussion ensembles. This weekend we're going to have a flute player because one of our arrangements is a Celtic arrangement. So it's, it works with bells and flute all together. Um, bells can also work well with singers. Mm. So we, we really have a lot of different options for how we, how we do that. And if people want to come out this weekend and see you, how can they do that? Where will you be? So the concert's free. It's going to be at the Century Center. It's going to be at 5 p.m. on Saturday. 
Um, and you can come right on in, and there are signs that will direct you to the Century Center main ringing floor, and there will be seating for the audience members. Um, no tickets are required, no prerequisites. We just love for as many folks to come out and hear the bells as, as are available. Perfect. So everybody can really come out and we want to get you all of that information so you can keep up with all of the handbells and the Ringing the Irish Spring Handbell Festival will be happening March 17th through 18th, as we were just saying, at the Century Center. For more information, you can visit their website at area5.handbellmusicians.org or follow them on social media.